Hi guys, welcome to today's Battle of the Foundations. Well, today we're going to be trying out a one foundation versus the other. So it's actually going to be the Givenchy Photo Perfection Fluid Foundation versus the YSL All Hours Stick Foundation. So we're going to try these out, put them to the test, see how they work out for me. But before I get started, if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, please make sure, just go ahead, hit the little subscribe button down below, and also give this video a thumbs up if you enjoy foundation videos. So without further ado, let's get going. Hi guys, welcome to this week's Battle of the Foundations. Well, today I'm actually going to do things a little bit differently. I'm going to do one half of my face using the Givenchy Photo Perfection Fluid Foundation. And the other half, I'm going to use the YSL All Hour Stick Foundation. So I'm going to try one on each side of my face. And then I'm going to go wash it all off. And I'm going to tell you why I'm doing this. These are two foundations that I have tried out already. And I have not cared for them. They're just not for my skin type. But before I return them, I thought I would show you guys why they didn't work for me. So um, I've gone in and done my normal things. I've uh, done all my moisturizers and serums and stuff. I have not under eye color corrected. Um, that's because you know, I'm going to go wash this off. I'm not going to leave that on today. And I will do one half with a clean sponge and a brush, and the other half with another clean sponge and a brush. So we're keeping everything very fair. So before we get started on this, let's talk a little bit about each of these foundations. So we're going to go ahead and start with the Givenchy. Um, this is $51. You get um, 0.8 ounces in this comes in only 11 shades, which is pretty sad. Um, it does have an SPF of 20 in it. It's medium to full coverage. I'm sorry, I'm reading here too. Good for normal combination and oily skin, and it says it has a natural finish. When it gets to the YSL, now I love, love, love their liquid form of the um, All Hours Foundation. Just love it. It's one of my very favorite foundations. So I'm surprised that I didn't care for the stick. So this one runs $48. Um, you get 0.32 ounces. It comes in 20 shades. It's got a medium coverage to it. It's good for sensitive, normal, dry combination and oily skin. And this one has a matte finish to it. So let's go ahead and get started. Um, it does say on the Givenchy to go ahead and shake this really well. And by the way, I picked up the color. I picked up the color Perfect Vanilla. So it has a glass bottle and a pump. And this is kind of on the liquidy side. So I'm going to go ahead and dot this in. And I think I'll use the sponge up on my forehead. My eyelid. Oh heck, let's just take that down the nose too. And then we'll use the brush on the rest of the face. And this is the uh, Morphe I6 brush. I still need to order some more of these. Why do I keep forgetting to do that? You guys remind me down below. So when I read your comments, I'll remember to do it. Again, this is supposed to be a medium to full coverage foundation. And for me, I really don't see a difference at all. So I'm going to let that just kind of dry down a little bit. We'll work on this side and then we'll come back and add some more as we need to. So let's move on to the YSL. This has a very pretty bottle. It's got a plastic cap on it. This is the product that you get. So when it says 0.32, stick foundations always have a lot less foundation. And I'm in the color B30 is what I picked up. So again, going with clean sponge. Sponge up on the forehead. Okay, go my eyelid. Oh, guys, 
this one has such a scent to it. I hope you like florally scents if you're going to pick this up. This is my poor broken brush, which rattles. All right, so that is this side. And once again, I don't feel like I got very much coverage out of this, and this is supposed to be medium coverage. So let me kind of dim my lights down, we'll zoom in a little bit, and I'll show you close up what one coat of each one of these looks like. All right, this is the Jigon Chi side. You can see I've got a lot of my, it didn't even really blend out very good, did it? No, it didn't get blended out very well. Keep in mind, I used one whole pump for this side of my face. And now we will look at the YSL side. The sponge really did a horrible job of getting it blended in. It's pretty catchy and hit and miss. Again, even with the brush, I didn't move it around very well. It's missing a lot of areas. It should have gone in too. So let's go in with a second coat of each. And normally I would go in with what I think gave the best finish. So I'm going to do the brush on the Givenchy side. Let's just keep you zoomed in. Okay. This one feels very heavy. Just feels heavy on my skin. So let's go in with the stick foundation, the brush did a bad job. I'm sorry, the sponge did a bad job. I will use the brush all over. All right, let's take a quick look again. So the Givenchy side naturally has a lot of glow to it. You can see that for sure. Um, I'm definitely still seeing it didn't get blended in very well right there. Um, a lot of my texture, not texture, my hyperpigmentation stuff coming through there. Now this is supposed to be a medium coverage. I would say that went in and gave better coverage than the Givenchy did. But still kind of tacky. Okay, I'm gonna let this all set. Oh my gosh, it's horrible around my lips. <laughs> it's still not blended in on my chin either. Okay, let's let this set for a little bit and dry down, and then I will be back. All right, guys, I am back, and I did go in and very, very, very lightly powder my face, and I mean extremely light. Um, I used the Marc Jacobs. This is the Perfecting Coconut Setting Powder. I use this one because it does the best job of going in and really smoothing out any pores or wrinkles or anything like that that the foundation can cause. Ugh, it still didn't help at all. Um, it's not really showing up. I tried to take some close-up photos using this camera, so I switched over to my iPhone. So I'll insert some photos here just showing you how bad this looks close-up.
Um, maybe you'll be able to see I have a lot of wrinkles that are showing up on my forehead, which I don't normally get. And these are deep enough right now that if I had some water, I could create little uh, rivers running down that. Yeah, that's pretty bad. Um, I have a lot of my coloration coming through on this side. And it's almost like I couldn't get it to blend all the way back. Um, even with powder on, this still feels very, very heavy. The stick side doesn't. So, um, but neither one of them dry down completely. Okay, I don't have any um, concealer on today either. I'm just going to skip all that. But um, yeah, it just feels very sticky on the Givenchy side still. So this is just not one for me. It's also rubbing off already. My chin is losing some. I'm losing a little bit on my nose. It looks really, really bad around this nostril, by the way, too. I tried to get a good close-up of it. Um, just trust me, it looks, it looks icky in there. And, um, yeah, it, for the money, I've got a lot of other foundations that I like that um, <laughs> perform a lot better than these. So unfortunately for my skin type, these are just not foundations that are working out for me. Um, again, I have worn them one other day. I did a full wear test on them. Um, the YSL rubbed off in a lot of areas throughout the day, which doesn't normally happen to me with any foundations. So that was kind of weird that it just kind of rubbed off. Um, and then I discovered when I was doing the rest of my, like my bronzer and my blush and highlighters, everything was just kind of clingy on the side that had the Givenchy. So it didn't do very well with powder products on top of it. So these are going to be going back and hopefully I'm saving you guys some money if you were thinking of getting these products and your skin type is anything like mine. If you have them and you enjoy them, I'd love to hear what worked for you and also what kind of skin type you have. Because again, my skin is normal, can get on the dry side, but I've been more on the normal side lately. So I think that kind of wraps everything up. So thanks so much for watching you guys. Again, if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, please make sure that you hit the subscribe button. Give this a thumbs up if you enjoyed the video. And feel free to leave any comments down below as well. If there's any foundations that I haven't tried yet that you would like to see me um, try out on my channel, please leave a comment down below on that too. So until next time, you guys, I love you and bye-bye.